So why can't I make a proportional circle map uh, just using this data that's on here? Well, let's take two countries as examples and see why this can't work. Let's use Turkey and let's say Turkey is three and a half million and let's use Germany that's in here and let's say that's half a million. So uh, if I took a proportional circle uh, over here and uh, if I resize that proportional circle to make it as large as Turkey, um, I'm not going to make it three and a half million centimeters wide, otherwise it would be too big for the Excel page. So I'm just going to divide all the numbers by a million. So I'm just going to make this circle three and a half centimeters wide instead. So on the assumption that our kind of centimeter was a million people. So if I make my second one here for Germany, that was 500,000 people. And this time I'm going to make that 0.5 centimeters. Again, I've divided by a million. Um, we can see the relative sizes of the circles that I come up with. Now, I know from some simple maths that Germany at half a million people uh, versus Turkey at three and a half million people, my circles should be about seven times the size. Now, if I look at the small Germany circle here and I put seven of these three, four, five, six, seven of these circles uh, together, you can quickly see that these seven circles around here are far too small um, to be a good accurate proportional circle comparison for the large German one that was in here. So I've got a problem here. So uh, let's have a think about why I've got that problem. Well, uh, if we think about some basic maths in here, if I take uh, the equation for a, uh, a circle and the area of a circle, so the area of a circle equals pi r squared. So here's my circle. And here's the radius that's on there. So really what I want to do is I want to make not the radiuses proportional to one another, but I want the areas to be proportional. So that if I added up seven circles together, the size of the seven circles uh, for Germany, they'd be the same as my top one for Turkey. So really all I need to do is I take this equation over here and I need to do a little bit of rearranging and I need to work out the radius. So um, to start with, I'm just going to divide both sides by pi. So area divided by pi equals the radius squared. And then to get the radius, I'm going to square root both sides. So I want the square root of the area divided by pi equals the radius. So uh, what I've actually got in uh, back over in Excel is when I'm reshaping the sizes of these circles and I'm editing the size of them, what I'm editing isn't the radius, which over here was half of the circle, but I'm actually changing the entire size, uh, top to bottom and left to right on here. So that's effectively the diameter. So if we think about a circle, obviously, um, the diameter is twice the radius. So when I want to uh, work these out, then my um, formula that I'm going to put in is I'm going to work out uh, this bit in here that will give me the radius. And then I want to multiply it by two so I can find out the diameter uh, in there. So quite simply, this bit in here, uh, I would type in uh, equals, and then I want uh, the square root, which in Excel is SQRT. Then I'm going to uh, open brackets, um, open brackets. I want the size of the population, which is this one here, divided by pi. I'm just going to put pi in like that for the moment. So. Uh, this gives me, at the moment, the square root of, of this bit here, which is this element here I wanted. And I want to work out the size that I need to make these circles, so the diameter, so I need it as twice the radius. So I'm going to change that equals two times that number on there. So that's all well and good, and I can drag this down if I touch the bottom right-hand corner of this cell in Excel and drag it down. This will give me all the sizes of the... Um, of these circles that I want moving forward. So if I uh, then got my German circle, for example, and I now made it 2121 two, uh, size and 2121 two, size, I'd find out obviously that I've got a circle that is far, far too big um, for what I'm trying to do up in the top, top corner of my uh, Excel sheet. So uh, I just tried a few different, uh, a few different times to uh, look for a number that would be sensible. So uh, I tried, after a bit of uh, 
try and fail. Let's uh, if I divide this by 2000 and I drag all these down again, I can see that my largest uh, circle is only going to be one centimeter wide. So if I make my largest set circle on here one centimeter wide it's probably a little bit too small for my map that's going to be the biggest one that's on there so actually i settled out after a bit of trying trial and error at the number 400 as the number i divide by and that gave me a sensibly sized um sensibly sized proportional circle so it gave me my biggest one at 5.3 uh which is over here for the turkey one and the next size is down Seem sensible sizes in there. So that number in there is just a constant. You can, through a bit of trial and error, work out whether uh, you need to ramp that up or ramp that down. Um, but that's how to calculate the, uh, how to do the proportional circles on this map.